Thailand's capital, Bangkok, is a magnet for visitors. However, over 300 years ago, it wasn't the metropolis it is today. In fact, it wasn't even the capital. That title was given to a mighty city, just an hour's drive out of Bangkok, and a place filled with history and interest, and one definitely worth the visit. Well, this is the ancient city of Ayutthaya, which for over 400 years actually used to be the capital of Siam. Yeah, then in 1767, the marauding Burmese army came through. There's always fights between the Burmese and the Siamese. They came through, ransacked the city and left it in the ruins we see today. It's actually quite ironic because the name Ayutthaya comes from the Sanskrit word for invincible. Yeah, it didn't quite yeah. stand that time, did it? I've been lucky enough to go to a number of the historic places around the world, the Forum and other throughout Europe, and this has to rival all of those. So any visitor to Thailand and certainly Bangkok must get out here and explore. So, Katie, let's go. Let's go. Founded by King Ramatabodi I in 1350, this site at the crossing of three major rivers provided natural fortification and security. After Ayutthaya's destruction and evacuation, the capital was relocated to Bangkok. Over the centuries, modern Ayutthaya has grown around the ruins of the once great city, creating an interesting mix of past and present. Ayutthaya's predominantly Buddhist population didn't have far to go to worship, with over 500 wats or temples throughout the city. Their once mighty stupas dominated the skyline. It's said that the gilded temples were so dazzling that when sunlight hit them, they could be seen from up to five kilometres away. This gives you some idea of the grandeur of Ayutthaya in its heyday. It's one of only a few temples that wasn't destroyed because it was used as a military campsite by the Burmese army who would fire their weapons directly across the river at the Grand Palace. At its height, Ayutthaya covered up to 12 square kilometres and at times was home to over 500,000 people. It was one of the most important trading centres in Asia. With its network of canals, it's little wonder this city was nicknamed the Venice of the East. The marauding Burmese army weren't just content in stealing gold, they also wanted to deface and damage as many of the statues of Buddha in this area. In fact, the decapitated head of a Buddha statue over here, caught in the strangling roots of this Bodhi tree, freezes in time that part of Ayutthaya's history. And as a mark of respect, all visitors to this site must kneel. Looking at the countless damaged and destroyed statues, it's difficult to understand the wanton destruction of images of a man revered for being so peaceful. Rows of the dismembered stone torsos are scattered throughout the ruins. The Ayutthaya period was Thailand's golden age of architecture. Previously, it was heavily influenced with architecture from Sri Lanka and Cambodia, but as these well-worn steps to the top of this stupa would suggest, this was their time to shine. 33 kings ruled the Ayutthaya kingdom during its existence. The historic city of Ayutthaya was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1991, ensuring its continued preservation. Spending time exploring Ayutthaya's many historical sites is a real treat and gives you an insight into Thailand's rich cultural history. And Kim, I think the only way to really get a feel for this place is to come and experience it for yourself. So if you are visiting Bangkok, it's something that we would definitely recommend.